So let's do an unboxing video. I haven't done one of those in quite a while. Wait a minute, we're not going to unbox this. We already did unbox this. This is my uh, Radio Berry with a 5 inch display. And what we're going to unbox. Is the 10.12 inch display. So let's unbox it. All right. So we got the Radaberry out of the way. We got it taken apart. There's the Pi 4. There's a box from eBay. Now we got to open it. Okay, hacked at that. Oh, I got another box in here. So, this is an off brand thing. Got it from a US supplier. This is LCD. It's, oh, it's not LED. Uh, portable monitor. It's made, it says it'll work with a Raspberry. It's, it's universal. It has a, a um, an HDMI port on it. It's supposed to be, supposed to be a touch screen, a capacitive touch screen. And uh, oh, it does say it's a Raspberry monitor. Anyway, let's take it apart some more. Get it out of here. Be right back. In the bottom of the box, you have adapter cables for power, USB, and I believe D yep, DVI. You've got some feet and some kind of adapter and screws and a screwdriver. And here's the display. The 10.1 inch. I'll take it out of there and look at it. Okay, here's the stuff out of the packages. And the manual says something about, oh, I can't really get it to focus in. Yes, please read this user manual carefully before use. All right, we'll do that. So this AP Roddy, a part of Roddy, uh, one 10.1 inch Raspberry Pi monitor has those specifications if you're interested. And there's the other side of the user manual, which defines some of the ports and suggestions on how to hook up the Raspberry Pi. So we'll do that now. Okay, let's point out some of the things that are concerning me already. Um, it comes with two USB cables, one for the touch, one for the power. And they have ferret covers on them to reduce noise interference, which is good. But the DVI cable does not. And the only way that you're supposed to do this, according to instructions, you're supposed to mount that in that direction, not, not, not in that direction. So we're going to do that. The trouble I have with that is, is that you have to put the DVI adapter on this guy and it's not going to fit real well. We'll see. The other thing that I'm having some negative thoughts about are the stands. Yeah, they just clip on. You get, they don't screw into anything. So when you go to move it around, they're going to fall off. They're going to hit the floor. And then you might kick it with your shoe and knock it into a crevice that you can never get it out again. So much for that. So let's go ahead and mount this thing. All right, the package of hardware for mounting the Raspberry, it comes with four standoffs. 
and it comes with, and you have to put the standoffs in here because the threaded holes for the screws are lower than this case. So you can't, you cannot directly use the screws to hold down the Raspberry Pi 4. You have to put the standoffs in there. So I did that and I've used three of the four screws that they give me to mount it. I've got, I left that screw out of it and I've got two of these standoffs that it, from another Raspberry kit there to support the board here. So when I plug the board in, I've got support right there, which I do. Now, now we'll go ahead and uh, hook that up. <laughs> 